Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our June 1st fishing report for the Jersey Shore. Guys, summer is here. Hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend with your family. We had a good time up at our cabin. Uh, we were doing some bass fishing, so I had a lot of fun there. Um, but summer is here, and, man, fishing seems to be good. Guys, uh, make sure you like our videos. Uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you're sending us a report, we'll put the text link, text line right here. Send us your wow. text. Um, email, Facebook's great too, but try to get those to us by Tuesday night. That way we have them ready for our report on Wednesday because we record this on Wednesday. Yeah. No. We don't do this live. Yeah, it's yeah, a shocker. You might yeah. think we do, but we yeah, don't. Yeah, we do. Um, but yeah, so get us the reports by Tuesday night if you can because there have been several times we're late on Wednesday. We get a report and... It's it's not, really, it doesn't report. make their cut. Yeah. yeah. So and we want to try to have these reports as fresh as possible. So, right. you know, as current as possible. So, yeah, Tuesday night would be great. All right. And real quick, I want to tell you about the fourth annual Rage and Raymond Fluke Tournament this Sunday, June 4th. Guys, it's a great tournament for a great cause. If this is something you're interested in, we'll put a link down below. You can get more information, get signed up for that. And uh, I'm sure you'd have a great time fishing yeah. that tournament. Absolutely. Yeah. Now we have our uh, tournament winner, actually, for the month of May for our largest loot contest, which is winning. All this great stuff, plus uh, they get to go on our store down below here and pick anything, one thing that they want. Uh, and our winner is, no surprise, Jimmy Yost. And you guys finally get to find out how big this fish was. This fish was 28 inches. Uh, just an absolute monster fish. So, Jimmy. That's a monster. It is. It's a, it's a big stinking fish. We had a bigger one, though. We had that guy got that 30 inch. It's true, but he ain't sending us. Vincent us, but he ain't hey. sending us. So, Jimmy, congratulations. congratulations Jimmy. Yeah, make sure you uh, hit us up through any of our contact info. Actually, Paul has my number. So, just tell Paul to text me or whatever your information. <laughs> we'll get that, uh, get that stuff out to you. Uh, and also, with that being said, our new contest is now starting with June, with June 1st. Uh, so, our June largest fluke contest is currently going so make sure you guys get As of right reports. now there's no fish caught for the month that's true that right, is because right. it's literally is the first day so <laughs> listen you guys get a 17 inch fluke you guys are in the lead you could say hey, i was in first place that's for right. a hot second so make sure you guys hit up his up with your largest fish and with the possibility to win and with that we're gonna get into our report we have uh frank angelo who was out with his buddies fishing the clam steaks in the great bay they were able to land two slot fish and three between 19 and 20 inches they were using uh bobbers to keep the bait above the slime and said the bait didn't really matter they were using gulp and minnows mike schaefer was also fishing the great bay using minnows when he was able to limit out uh and then wayne and howard uh again fishing the clam steaks in the great bay um <coughs> they were using gulp and minnows they were when they were able to pick up two shorts uh 23 inch striper and a bluefish uh, Paul Nee, speaking of Paul, uh, was able to get out on the water in the back bays of the Cape May County area. They were using bucktails of pink shine gulp, and they were uh, had a swing mullet teaser when they were able to land six keepers and twenty five shorts. It sounds like a wow. sounds like a good day of fishing. Shorts, it's a lot of fish. Uh, LJ was fishing the Shark River using a jerk shad during the incoming tide around five thirty a.m. when he was able to land this nice twenty four inch fluke. Uh, heading over to the Raritan Bay, Randy Brown was able to land several nice stripers that were all caught on live bunker. He said they had to battle the bluefish in order to get down to the stripers, uh, but there were a ton of them. Uh, they were also blowing up on the top water. He said they were uh, knocking their plugs sky high. And uh, Dylan Irving will echo, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Randy's report because Dylan also uh, caught several nice stripers in the Raritan Bay using the same thing, live bunker. So it seems like you guys want to look for stripers right now. Raritan Bay with live bunker isn't a bad way to go. Uh, and finally, I'll end it with uh, Sam Panko, who was fishing the Beach Haven area uh, area of LBI on Memorial Day. He started out using clams on a fish finder rig. He was able to land a 26-inch striper and changed over to a high-low rig uh, with clam and tipped it with fish bites, bloodworms, and was able to land this monster 16-inch, 1.6-pound kingfish. Wow. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't realize they got that big. I mean, that's... <laughs> That's a that's a monster kingfish. So uh, you know we appreciate you sending that into us, uh, Sam, and uh, you know continue success with success with your uh, gigantic kingfish. So. <laughs> well, that takes some lessons from him, yeah, right? Right. All right, I got T Machine. He was out in the Great Bay last week. They were able to land four fluke, two at twenty two inches, and two slot fish. Carl Chin was out in the Great Bay with Carl Harbin, Chuck, Doreen, and Crystal. They were using white and pink shine gulp and white Zeman with squid strip. Uh, Carl landed a 20-inch fluke on the first drop. This was the biggest of the trip. Uh, they landed three more fluke, and then they were chasing blues for a little bit after that. Uh, I just got to say, though, Carl, again, with his first 
cast, right? Right. That, I yeah. think last yeah. week. <laughs> Carl, Carl, I think this is you just got to take this as, as as a sign, buddy. Just after your first drop, or after your first cast, just go home. Like just, just end it right there because it seems like your best fish is always. I'm your sure he got cast. a couple blues, right? You got a couple. Yeah, blues. but so it's big, the biggest fish was calling his first know, drop. Right? So. Yeah, just, just be done after that, right? Yeah, right. All right, then I got Ian. Uh, Schindler, he didn't send us any picture, but gave us a he sent, didn't send us pictures, but gave us a good report. He said he was fishing between the inlet and the fish factory. Landed three slot fluke. Uh, said the bite was slow in the morning, uh, but picked up around noon. He was back at the next day. Landed one short and one over in the grassy channel. So um, great that's report, all the great but uh, that's, that's all the great bay. That's a great yeah. bay. Uh, make sure you get those pictures. You know, we yeah, all got really help. help. That does yeah. help. Uh, Chris Bloom was out with his son Kyle fishing Little Sheepshead Creek. They pulled in. Two, uh, two fluke, one at 17 and a half, the other at 18 and three quarter. Kyle also landed 22 inch weak fish. Chris said they were using bucktails with gulp and minnows on a teaser. He said the keepers went for the minnows and the shorts went for the gulp. So interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, right? yeah that's good, yeah. Bit of, good bit of info there. Yeah, Daniel Massmini, he was fishing the Brigantine, uh, with sand fleas when he landed a 48 inch striper and a nice drum. And Mike, uh, Blanda, he was had a banner day out in the water and Brigantine started off. With a nice striper, then nonstop blues for an hour. Uh, then they started catching fluke, landing five overs from anywhere from 20 to 22 inches. So, seems like some good reports out on the water, guys. Thank you for sending them in. Make sure to get those reports into us by Tuesday night. It helps us. We put the report together. So, sure does. Good luck, guys. Yeah, good luck, everybody.